Hello, welcome to Stuff They Should Taught You in School. I'm Monsui, as always. <clears throat> Today's episode, results or excuses. Essentially, you can have one, but you can't have both. You either get the result you want or you have an excuse. So many people say it's okay because of insert justification here. Why? So I'll give you some examples like it's okay I didn't get that job because of insert justification here. It's okay that this person makes more money than me because insert justification here. It's okay I'm not physically fit and that guy over there or that girl over there is physically fit because insert justification here. Why do people do this? Is it to soothe themselves? Is it to say it's okay? Is it to say like, you know, it's okay, uh, you didn't get the result that you wanted, but it's okay because of anything, you know, uh, a tri I hurt my leg, uh, you know, I woke up late, uh, my stomach wasn't good, I was ill, uh, you know, this and that, whatever, who gives a shit, really, you either have the result or the excuse, and whatever the excuse is, it doesn't matter what it is, like, even in the most extreme examples, the result hasn't been hit, so, therefore, the excuse doesn't matter. Um, and it's very much the case, like, you know, uh, even setting goals, I want to have this much money by X time in my life, or I want to have uh, my business and one, I want the business to be making that much money every year by X time in my life, or I want to serve this many people by X time in my life, or uh, I want to get this qualification and pass my exams and, um, and, and you fail which is fine, it's fine to fail, but really we need to be looking at forward how we can succeed in the future rather than looking backwards and saying, why did we fail off some sort of excuse? Now, there's lessons to be learned, so you can look at it in two different ways and you can look at it and you can say, okay, fine. Uh, why did I say, say you failed a test, but someone else succeeded. Do you essentially say it's okay because of X or it's okay for them because of X? It's okay for that guy who succeeded in the test because, I don't know, his parents have got more money than me, uh, than my parents, and they can afford a tutor. Who cares? It's an excuse at the end of the day. The idea, the reality is, is that the results haven't been here. It's very much black and white. It's very much binary. In my mind, it's very much binary. Even if it, it, do, it just doesn't matter. Like I, I was having a conversation with this about, about this to someone else and they try and rationalize it, but uh, I don't really think it can be rationalized. And when you take it to the most extreme examples, yeah, it sounds very weird. And it doesn't sound like something that generally people would say, but it is the reality of the world is that you either have the excuse or you either have the result. And it's your choice. If you didn't, if you failed at something, then I would encourage you not to excuse yourself for failing, but to review potentially why we failed. Not using it as an excuse, but using it as a um, a method of learning or a, a, a way, a, an opportunity to learn. And hopefully you succeed next time or you get closer to success next time. So, so many people will say, it's okay for that guy who's got the Lambo because of X. It's okay for that person who's got six pack because of Y. And um, it's okay for them because of this. And it's okay for them. And that is such a dangerous mindset to be in. Because I feel like you are giving yourself an out for everything. There's an out. So I didn't get that girl or I didn't get that guy. There's an out. There's an easy thing to say to soothe yourself, to make yourself feel better about, about it. To say like, oh, really, we're just all just big babies inside. Like, we don't really grow up, do we? We're just big kids and we try and learn how to deal with this thing we call life. And uh, really, we don't even know what, what it is. We don't understand it at all. We don't understand ourselves at all. And um, maybe at one point in time we did, but the knowledge is perhaps lost or I, I don't know. There's a lot of mysteries in this world. But one thing is for sure is that for some reason especially in the Western society, when some when a failure occurs where either someone else succeeded and you didn't succeed, or where when you try to go for something and you don't get it, then it's an immediate excuse. It's an immediate justification. It's an immediate, like, oh, it's okay if this such and such event happened because of X, Y, Z. But the reality is, is that the result wasn't hit. 
And if we take this to the most extreme example, and say that you are a single parent and you have a child to feed, you can't say to your child, I lost my job and I can't feed you because, and it's okay because, I don't know, I tripped over and broke my leg or whatever it may be. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, whatever the excuse is, child ain't getting fed. And whenever I rationalize it, or it, maybe I, it's not even, it's not really rational, but in, in some respects, it's not rational. In some respects, it's more, it, it's an extreme example, right? And when you look at things like that, and you look at and you realize that, okay, whatever the excuse is, whatever the justification is, it doesn't matter because food isn't on the table for the kid and they will starve. You could say anything that could happen, uh, you know, COVID happened, a war was happening, uh, I got shot. But at the end of the day, the food ain't on the table. The child don't care. It doesn't matter because they're going to starve. And it's the same. I know it's a very extreme example, but it's the same in everything. I didn't get that at a six pack. I didn't wake up on time because of X. I didn't do this because of Y. I didn't do that because of Y. And you're trying to soothe yourself. And that is not the right thing to be going about it. Um, in my opinion, I think that if you have failed, you should really just face failure in the, in just face it head on and just say, yeah, fine, I failed. What am I going to do next time? And failure isn't exactly necessarily a bad thing, although that we are taught that it's a super bad thing and that we should never fail and that we should really succeed without even looking like we are trying hard, which doesn't really make sense. It's almost as if um, you're you're supposed to. Uh, it's okay to, you know, have success in whatever it may be, fitness, money, this or that, um, even just building things or like, you know, whittling or whatever it could be or playing a song. Um, and you can say like, oh, it's, um, you know, it, whatever it may be. And you, and you could say, um, you know, failure and mistakes is something I feel that from the school system we are taught that it is a very bad thing whereas it is not a bad thing and we are taught essentially that whatever that success may be like i say whittling whatever is that it's okay to be good at it and you should and you should ideally be good at it and you know that's the point that you want to be at but you want to do it without trying hard or looking like you're trying hard or sweating or or whatever it may be <laughs> it's just completely ridiculous and it's almost as if like you're supposed to have the success innately without putting any work in or with making it look easy and the reality is is when the person scores that football goal or the basketball they score in basketball and they hit the basket and it may they make it look easy yeah because they've tried 10 million times before and because they've done it so many times before that it is now second nature to them. Whereas we step into the school system, we step into the world to almost having, not having all that, without having all that background, without having all that experience or without having all that practice, but we are still expected to have the success, which is just unrealistic. And then you will say it's okay because of X or insert justification here and i bring it back to the starving child example it doesn't matter what happened it really doesn't matter you could explain you could think about the most extreme examples of what could happen and the most painful examples of what could happen but at the end of the day food is not on the table and the result is not there so if you're going to say an excuse to yourself at least rationalize it in some way and say okay fine i didn't hit the goal um maybe there was things outside of my control but what can I do now? What can I do now to go forward? What can I do now to prevent myself from fucking up, essentially? Or how, how what can I do now to learn more, to do more, to, to be better, to get the result that I want to get? And the reality is, is sometimes you're here or like, you know, your result, say, is a 10 out of 10. And you want to get to 10 out of 10 by in one year. And after one year, you get to 5 out of 10. Now... Although you haven't reached the goal and you haven't got the result that you wanted, you still got some results. You still got halfway. And you wouldn't have got halfway had you not put in the effort, had you not made the goal, had you not tried. Um, but you've got to be very careful. And this is where it is, really. Is it's, I think it's very, very dangerous, very dangerous to start an excuse mentality 
to start saying that it's okay that my child is starving because of insert whatever fucking thing you want to say here it could be literally anything but at the end of the day whether it is outside of your control or whether it is in your control the food isn't on the table whenever i look at it that way it is a harsh reality yes because life is a harsh reality and it is you know extreme maybe but it really brings it down because when you say uh you know a uh, uh, boss i got to work late no one gives a shit why like yeah you can justify it but at the end of the day you didn't get to work on time like that's the result that, that people want and or that you should be uh, striving for you know and whatever it may be you know, I got into a car accident, this or that, or some family member died or something terrible happened. Yes, it's a justification. And yes, you know, there are extreme examples where I guess um, you can say maybe it's OK. But at the end of the day, the results still isn't there. And as much as you can get away from having this excuse mentality, the better, I think, because you get too used to it. People get too used to it. People get too used to looking out into the world and say, all my friends are successful. All these people are successful. All these people have got families, whatever it may be. All these people can run a four minute mile. All these people have got six pack. All these people are talented musicians. All these people can do boxing or kickboxing, or basketball, football, whatever it is, anything, literally think of anything. And you say, it's okay for all these people because of X, because their parents had money, because they had more time, because they are taller than me, because they are are skinny than me because they're white and I'm brown or because they're brown and I'm white or or whatever it is doesn't matter at the end of the day it's an excuse or a result and um as much as you want to try and rationalize it as much as you want to try and justify it food ain't on the table 